some more jerking of the chain. You really have to stop and think about what you're taking in from some of these outlets. And really, I say it all the time, we cannot compete. I cannot reach every living room across the country. And when NBC News is brainwashing people across the board from morning, noon, and night, how do you compete against that? All we can do is hope that others out there grab this information and share it because the censorship these days is as bad as it's ever been. It's only going to get worse. And with stuff like this, it shows that someone like NBC can come out and tell the whole world a story and give them information. They soak that up, and that's all they know. If they never update it, and they go back to NBC, 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 and they never update that story, then it's in their memory bank. That's how it goes down. That's what's stored there. There, it sits until something comes along that jogs the memory bank and brings that back out, and then you're going to be referencing that story. And you're going to be using it as your knowledge when it's false. And we're finding out right now that DHS is coming out saying, hold on, NBC reported that Russia had infiltrated like 21 states or some, something during the elections. They're trying to say that nothing was ever penetrated by Russian hackers and that what they were saying was a load of bullocks. So it just goes to show once again the whole jerking of the chain method of putting information out there that doesn't check out to be true. And you also have to ask yourself, you know, who are these mystery men that they always cite this anonymous source? They always say this anonymous source with the department of whatever. That's garbage. You can just make that up all day long. And how many times now have these stories come back to this anonymous source? Just like I talked about last week. Showing the whole story was garbage. Seeing more and more of it. But I'll leave a link here, guys. It's been Dabu7.